Hello learners and welcome to a new session of English for class 6. Okay learners, tell me, do we love our parents? Yes, indeed, we do love our parents. It really affects us when our parents are sad and angry. We try everything to make them happy and cheerful. Today, we are going to study a story about a dutiful son who tries to make his father happy by fulfilling his wish. The story is a part of Unit 3 of NCRT textbook Honeysuckle for Class 6. The title of the story is Taro's Reward. It is a popular Japanese short story. This is a story about a thoughtful and loving son. He works hard to fulfill his parents' wishes and gets some unexpected help. Let us first read the story. Taro's Reward A young woodcutter named Taro lived with his mother and father on a lonely hillside. All day long he chopped wood in the forest. Though he worked very hard, he earned very little money. This made him sad, for he was a thoughtful son and wanted to give his old parents everything they needed. One evening, when Taro and his parents were sitting in a corner of their hut, a strong wind began to blow. It whistled through the cracks of the hut and everyone felt very cold. Suddenly, Taro's father said, I wish I had a cup of sake. It would warm me and do my old heart good. This made Taro sadder than ever, for the heartwarming drink called sake was very expensive. How do I earn more money? He asked himself. How do I get a little sake for my poor old father? He decided to work harder than before. Next morning, Taro jumped out of bed earlier than usual and made his way to the forest. He chopped and cut, chopped and cut as the sun climbed and soon he was so warm that he had to take off his jacket. His mouth was dry and his face was wet with sweat. My poor old father, he thought, if only he was as warm as I and with that he began to chop even faster thinking of the extra money he must earn to buy the sake to warm the old man's bones. Then suddenly, Taro stopped chopping. What was that sound he heard? Could it be, could it possibly be rushing water? Taro could not remember ever seeing or hearing a rushing stream in that part of the forest. He was thirsty. The axe dropped out of his hands and he ran in the direction of the sound. Taro saw a beautiful little waterfall hidden behind a rock, kneeling at a place where the water flowed quietly, he cupped a little in his hands and put it to his lips. Was it water or was it sake? He tasted it again and again and always it was the delicious sake instead of cold water. Taro quickly filled the pitcher he had with him and hurried home. The old man was delighted with the sake. After only one swallow of the liquid, he stopped shivering and did a little dance in the middle of the floor. 
That afternoon, a neighbor stopped by for a visit. Taro's father politely offered her a cup of the sake. The lady drank it greedily and thanked the old man. Then Taro told her the story of the magic waterfall, thanking them for the delicious drink she left in a hurry. By nightfall, she had spread the story throughout the whole village. That evening, there was a long procession of visitors to the woodcutter's house. Each man heard the story of the waterfall and took a sip of the sake. In less than an hour, the pitcher was empty. Next morning, Taro started for work even earlier than the morning before. He carried with him the largest pitcher he owned, for he intended first of all to go to the waterfall. When he reached it, he found, to his great surprise, all his neighbors there. They were carrying pitchers, jars, buckets, anything they could find to hold the magic sake. Then one villager knelt and held his mouth under the waterfall to drink. He drank again and again and then shouted angrily, Water? Nothing but water. Others also tried, but there was no sake, only cold water. We have been tricked, shouted the villagers. Where is Taro? Let us drown him in this waterfall. But Taro had been wise enough to slip behind a rock when he saw how things were going. He was nowhere to be found. Muttering their anger and disappointment, the villagers left the place one by one. Taro came out of his hiding place. Was it true? He wondered. Was the sake a dream? Once more, he caught a little liquid in his hand and put it to his lips. It was the same fine sake. To the thoughtful son, the magic waterfall gave the delicious sake. To everyone else, it gave only cold water. The story of Taro and his magic waterfall reached the emperor of Japan. He sent for the young woodcutter and rewarded him with 20 pieces of gold for having been so good and kind. Then he named the most beautiful fountain in the city after Taro. This, said the emperor, was to encourage all children to honor and obey their parents. Let us now revise the story. A young woodcutter named Taro lived with his old parents. His father once said, I wish I had a cup of sake. This made Taro sad because sake was expensive. So, next morning he went to the forest to chop trees. He worked very hard, then he felt thirsty. Suddenly, he heard a sound of waterfall. He went towards the sound and found a waterfall. When he drank it, it was sake. He was surprised, so he again tasted it and it was sake. He had a pitcher with him. He filled it and came home. It made his father very happy. That day, a visitor came to Taro's house and he offered some sake to her and narrated the whole story. She spread the story about the magic waterfall in the village. Next morning, Taro went to forest. 
but all the villagers reached there before taro they tasted the water but it was only water not sake so they got angry and wanted to drown taro but taro hid himself behind the big rock when all the villagers went away he went to the waterfall and tasted it it was the same sake this story reached to the emperor he rewarded taro this was to encourage all the children to honor and obey their parents let us now look at the new words and their meanings first word is chopped it means cut into pieces second phrase is whistle through it means pass through with a whistling sound third word is cracks it means narrow gaps or openings sake a popular japanese drink it is pronounced as sa as in father f a fa k rhymes with we sake our fifth word is expensive which means costly our sixth phrase is made his way to which means went to our seventh phrase is cupped a little in his hands which means took some water or any drink in his hands as if in a cup our eighth word is delicious it means very tasty our ninth word is pitcher which means a pot usually made of mud our 10th word is greedily which means as if desiring more and more our 11th word is intended which means planned our 12th word is tricked which means deceived our 13th word is muttering which means speaking unclearly our 14th word is sent for which means called activity 1 answer the following questions children i have some questions for you now based on our reading of the story let us see what are their answers our first question is why did taro run in the direction of the stream taro ran in the direction of the stream because he was very thirsty second question is how did taro's father show his happiness after drinking sake taro's father was so delighted with the sake that when he swallowed a sip of the liquid he stopped shivering and became energetic and he did a little dance in the middle of the floor our third question is why did the waterfall give taro sakes and other water the waterfall gave taro sake and others water because taro was a very thoughtful and dutiful son to his parents the sake from the waterfall was a reward for his goodness on the other hand the people of his village got plain water because they were greedy our fourth question is why did the villagers want to drown taro when the villagers went to the waterfall with big pitchers and vessels to
to collect sake. They simply got plain water from the waterfall. They thought that Taro had fooled and tricked them. Hence, they decided to punish him by drowning him in the same waterfall. Fifth question is, why did the emperor reward Taro? The emperor rewarded Taro with 20 pieces of gold for having been so good and kind to his parents. He also named the fountain after Taro. Through this reward, the emperor wanted to encourage all children to love, honor and obey their parents. Let's do a second activity. Mark the right item. There are few sentences given to you. You have to choose the correct option. Put a tick mark in front of the correct response. Our first sentence is Taro earned very little money because and your options are he didn't work hard enough, the villagers didn't need wood, the price of wood was very low. Tell me learners, which is the re correct response? Yes. The correct response is the price of wood was very low. The second sentence is Taro decided to earn extra money. Your options are to live a more comfortable life, to buy his old father some sake, to repair the cracks in the hut. Why did Taro wanted to earn extra money? think? Yes, he wanted to earn extra money to buy his old father some sake. Our next sentence is, the neighbor left Taro's hut in a hurry because your options are, she was delighted with the drink. She was astonished to hear Taro's story. She wanted to tell the whole village about the waterfall. Why did the neighbor left Taro's hut in a hurry? Think children. Was she delighted with the drink? Was she astonished to hear Taro's story? Or did she want to tell the whole village about the waterfall? Yes, she wanted to tell the whole village about the waterfall. Our next sentence is, this made Taro sadder than ever. In this sentence, this refers to and your options are a strong wind that began to blow, Taro's father's old age, Taro's inability to buy expensive sake for his father. Think. What does this refers to in the sentence, this made Taro sadder than ever? Yes, Taro's inability to buy expensive sake for his father. This in the sentence, this made Taro sadder than ever refers to Taro's inability to buy expensive sake for his father. Our next sentence is, this said the emperor was to encourage all the children to honor and obey their parents. What does this refers to in this sentence? Your options are the most beautiful fountain in the city rewarding Taro with gold and giving the fountain his name, sending for Taro to hear his story. Think, what is the correct response? Yes, this refers to rewarding Taro with gold and giving the fountain his name. 
in the sentence this said the emperor was to encourage all children to honor and obey their parents refers to rewarding taro with gold and giving the fountain his name now let's do another activity fill in the blanks with words given below you can see some words in brown color you have to choose the correct word and fill the blanks given below a dash woodcutter a young woodcutter lived on a dash hillside lived on a lonely hillside he was a dash son he was a tell me what should be the response he was a thoughtful son very good who worked dash but yes who worked hard but earned dash money he worked hard but earned very good little money one day he saw a dash waterfall what should be the correct word right one day he saw a beautiful waterfall hidden behind a rock he tasted the water and found it tell me think children he tasted the water and found it delicious very good let us now revise the entire paragraph a young woodcutter lived on a lonely hillside he was a thoughtful son who worked hard but earned little money one day he saw a beautiful water fall hidden behind a rock he tasted the water and found it delicious let us read it once again a young woodcutter lived on a lonely hillside he was a thoughtful son who worked hard but earned little money one day he saw a beautiful waterfall hidden behind a rock he tasted the water and found it delicious now students we have come to the end of the session i have a question for you like patrick in the story who did patrick's homework taro is helped by magic do you believe in magic what are the magical things that happen in these stories your homework is to write down your response or your answer whether you believe in magic or not and what are the magical things that happened in both the stories who did patrick's homework and taro's reward you need to write it down in your copy learners make sure you complete this homework and i hope you enjoyed the story we will meet you next time till then goodbye